Like, share, subscribe. If you guys have purchased a reading or donated to my page, I'm grateful. If you're just finding me for the first time, welcome. Okay. I never reach out to anyone. I just want everyone to know that. So if you're getting anything from anyone that's claiming to be me, that's not me. All right. If anyone needs a personal reading, the information is in the box below how to have it with me. All right. If you guys need instructions on how to do a spiritual bath my way, that is also linked in my information. Okay. Any way I can help you, I would um, do my best to do so. Virgos. Okay. Um, let's tap in. Okay. So some of you may be a little bit scorned over a relationship, right? You still may have adverse reactions or feelings or, or um, triggers. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. When it comes to um, some of the things that happen to you. Okay. Um, some of you are going to say no, 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 no. But let me tell you something. I am a Sag, um, son. Okay. I do, um, accept the fucus into my life as well, be being as though where my birthday is, but I am a Virgo moon. So when it comes to these energies, I, I tap right into them. Okay. Um, I know that I have ways about me and recently the last two days have tested me in a way like nobody's business had to deal with a Virgo um, and <laughs> I had to deal with a Virgo that really gave me, you know, a, a, a very turbulent time in my life. Um, so some of you uh, may be in a place to where you're being tested at some point in time. People may be talking about your things may be going on. People could be trying to belittle you in, in certain ways as well. And you're just not having it because that's just not the Virgo way. You know what I'm saying? So here, here we go. All right. So this could be a relationship to where things did not go the way that you needed it to go or you felt like it would be a certain way. Here we go. Okay. Right. Someone may be moving guarded. Right. And this relationship came to an end, of course. And now you're guarded. You're guarded with your energy. You're guarded with your words. You're guarded with your interactions with another person. And for some of you, you may have a way of medicating through this. OK, or you have some sort of ritual that you do after you have to deal with said person. All right. For me, I'm going to go take a spiritual bath because I don't want any of your energy that that was next to me on me right but some of you may do some other things okay it doesn't have to always be alcohol or or drugs or anything of that nature it could be something to where you do spiritually um to detach your energy you know somebody could be doing core cuttings um anything of that nature right you guard it because you know what even though things came to an end with this person we have skull here we have skull here you know you're transforming your life is transforming for some of you you're doing everything in your power to stop being angry right because you go from zero to 100 real quick I don't want to be angry anymore when I'm dealing with people that have stupidity issues, right? That's what's coming up. Thank you, spirit, right? Somebody's like, you know, I'm sick of stupid people. I'm just sick of stupid people. I don't want to deal with that, right? Um, and some of you are getting angry, right? These people putting evil eyes on you as well, right? This person may have done something to, to, um, to retaliate against you or to make you feel some sort of way. Okay, this person bottom of the deck could be a liar too. This is the energy coming through. Um, Spirit is saying, you know what? You've done everything in your power to try to hone in your temper. Okay, but you know, this person may know exactly what to do to like rub you the wrong way to get you to a certain place to where you're not yourself. Okay, I don't know what that means to you, but this is what Spirit is giving me. Let's continue. All right. Yep fire somebody can have fire in their chart okay someone could feel like this person sets them on fire every time they see them right someone could be seeking guidance from the divine on how to deal with these situations or when this person comes around you or their energy comes around you you could be praying for guidance praying for 
uh, mercy, praying for uh, direction, right? From higher self, spirit. Some of you could be asking your family or friends, what do I need to do? Like, what am I doing wrong? Like, why am I always feeling like this when I'm around this person or when this person um, starts to bother me in whatever way? I'm no longer in a relationship with them. They can no longer impact me, um, but they find a way to impact me or, or to, to raise my energy uh, to where theirs is or lower, excuse me, lower my energy, right? Okay. Um, Spirit is saying this, okay? You can have this person in your life. Um, that recognizes you as, as a sacred energy to them, okay? They may not have um, recognized you as that when they were with you. For some of you, you may have had children uh, with this person, okay? Could be masculine, could be feminine, right? So if it's a feminine energy, masculine could be um, um, also someone um, that has water in their chart, okay? Also, some of that could be air sign energy as well, okay? Um, so not not just earth here as we're in. Um, this person may have thought that you were going to be a part of their permanent stability, right? They may have felt like you were always going to be a staple in their life. Um, but I feel like passion was a problem here. Okay, so either you or them had a problem uh, because either one of you had had um, had more of a um, sex drive or intimacy drive than the other one or maybe you guys uh, wanted to have things a certain way with the intimacy and they wanted them another way but I feel like the stability with this whole um, union it just didn't go the way that you guys wanted it to go okay so you guys split up from this person you split up and you went your way, they went theirs, uh, but there's still an energy of, like, what was I thinking? Why was I dealing with this person? Why was I dealing with their energy? Like, you know, um, you know, I don't want to deal with their energy. I don't want to do that. You know, I don't want to be bothered at all. And this person, you know, they just want to reach out and they, <laughs> they just want to talk to you any kind of way. They just want to be a part of your life. They just want to be able to have... Or to say that they've had a conversation with you. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm honest to God. This is what I'm saying, okay? This person manifests to have um, situations where they're able to talk to you. Virgos, okay? All right? So either I'm talking to a Virgo son, I'm talking to someone with Virgo in their chart, right? Or you, if this is not you, this is someone in your energy that's feeling this about you, Virgos, right? Someone feels like, you know, they miss interacting with someone that they feel uh was a gift to them from the divine when i see this card spirit of saint nicholas right you feel like you're giving a gift santa claus comes and brings gifts all right santa claus comes and brings gifts right someone could have uh, significant um christmas stories someone could be born in the month of december as well or around christmas or new year's something of that nature it could be happening my love someone could be saying you know what i know i get on their nerves um but i just want to talk to them or i haven't seen them in god knows long, how long but i just want to interact with them and then when they come around you, you know, you're on your guard because you're like, yeah, this is not what I signed up for. And this is not what I want to do. Okay. So let's see what Spirit wants you to do about this. Okay. Like I said, this can either be your energy, Virgo, or someone else's. Some of you, if you have children with this person, is not someone that you can get away from. I just want to put that out there. So you're going to need to learn how to not allow this person to trigger you or to get under your skin in some way. Okay? Wheel of Fortune, right? This person, okay. This person may feel like they were um, a lot more, um, I, I cannot say lucky, or they had good energy when they was with you. Okay? You're the person that gave them peace. Okay? I just have to say that. All right. You're the person that that gave them um, a state of being and wherever they are right now, no matter how happy they feel like they are or how happy they say they are, they're miserable. OK, because you were their fortune. You were the person. OK, that gave them 
the good feelings, that peaceful energy. Um, you were the person that was able to calm them down. You were the person that they craved to speak to. You may have had long conversations with this person. You may have like just fallen asleep on the phone type energy or speaking on the phone all day type of thing because this person liked to tap in with you and, and you made them feel better in some way. And because you made them feel better in some way, that's why every single time they see you, they got to talk to you. Even if you don't like them, they got to sit there and they got to talk to you. This is what it is, okay? Right? So they have to cause some sort of upheaval in your life, right? Because they know, number one, they're never going to be able to get you back. Number two, right? You're never going to, um, you know, be on the friendly terms with them like you were before, right? You're always going to be someone that protects your energy by standing your ground here with this Seven of Wands card. You're always going to stand up for your beliefs, even though they try to knock them down. You're always going to be someone that is protective of yourself and determined, okay? Um, it's always going to be opposing energy with this person now because you guys are on, on opposite sides of the fence and they don't like it. And that's just the truth, okay? So let me get on their nerves. You know, because I'll never have things the way that they used to be. This is something that I miss 100%. It don't matter who they're with. It don't matter what they're doing. It don't matter if they're married or not. Okay? This person still feels a certain way. Okay? So when they see you, they're going to act like they have a friendship with you. They're going to act like y'all get along because they're so happy to have that reunion with you. Okay. Right. They're so happy to be in your presence because you were someone that was a powerhouse or someone that was really peaceful and present for them. Okay. So this is what I got. Right. We got Leo energy. We got um, cancer energy out here. Okay. We got fire sign energy out here as well. I just want to put that out there. But listen, you guys got this. Okay. I'm sending you all, you all the utmost love and light, Virgos. Okay, if anyone needs me, the information is in the box below. Um, you guys find me out here on social media, TikTok, uh, Instagram, Facebook. You know, look for me out here in these streets. My loves, take care.